Uh, look, I, I, I think you're a little skeptical thinking that maybe you're not for real. He is the biggest wrestling fan. Oh, I'm I, listening. In fact, we're going to have like a no-brainer battle coming up between Tony, who I, I thought was the biggest wrestling fan, mm-hmm. and Half-Baked. The question here is, now, Half-Baked, will you, uh, can, you, can you give him some kind of uh, crazy tribute question? Any, anything. It could be the most small, minute, minute detail, detail from maybe one of your matches. Anywhere from 91 on, you ask the question, I guarantee he can give you the answer. Really? Oh, yeah. I can't think of any crazy questions. I can think of one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the, the the silver chain that Stone Cold always wears. The gold chain. A gold chain. Who who gave him that? Brian Pillman. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the guy knows everything. It's amazing. I was about to ask you, I, I, I miss Pillman. Do you ever think about him? <laughs> I think about Brian Pillman uh, probably uh, at least once a week. I was just doing a... Um, interview a round table type thing about the movie in detroit and one of the guys who was interviewing me did uh, a bunch of interv- interviews with brian pillman he didn't know what to do with them so there's about 45 minutes worth of interviews uh that he put on a cd and he gave those to me uh i listened to the one for about two minutes when brian starts off talking about that terrible crash he had in his hummer and uh I wasn't in the mood to hear something like that, so I had to take it off, you know, because a little bit, you know, just kind of hit me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. When I get back home, I finally get to go back to L.A. tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to listen to it. But I, I always think about Brian. He was my best friend in the business. We thought the same, and uh, he was a blast. And that guy was so smart, I just never figured that he would have left us. And I sure wish he, that he was still around because he was one of the coolest guys, one of the neatest persons, and a uh, very complicated human being, but just a, a really cool guy. Hey, uh, do you know whatever happened to Scott Hall? No, I know he, he had some, a few issues. He was down in Florida, and now, you know, I never run in the same, same circles with that guy, so uh, I Wait, don't know what he's doing. I don't mean disrespect, but you weren't too pleased that you had to wrestle him at WrestleMania 18. That's <laughs> what I heard. You know, it wasn't anything against him. It's just uh, like I thought it should have been a little bit higher profile deal yeah, match on there. Yeah, been in a higher profile match. And so, you know, and he had, uh, you know, he had a few issues going on. It should have been Hogan versus Rock versus you in a triple threat match. You know what? That probably uh, wouldn't have been too bad of an option, but I hate triple threat matches because I don't like the flow. Uh, you know, of course, I've always loved uh, wrestling The Rock because uh, our styles are very, you know, conducive to having a great match. Uh, you wrestled him at WrestleMania 15, 17, and 19, <laughs> and you beat him two out of three. 17 you, this guy was my knows favorite, everything uh, about you, man. Oh, no, the, the one in Houston, uh, 17, was my favorite one. I thought that was the best ride and the that greatest match. That is one of my all-time favorite matches right there. Hey, how I watched ride. it last week. You just want, what, you, oh, did you get the box set that has all the WrestleManias? Well, there's a problem on WrestleMania's 99 through 02. They block out the turnbuckles that say WWF due to the fact that the Wildlife Foundation... Oh, that's right. I forgot right. about yeah. that. Hey, half Yeah. Hey, he's got a roll here in a second. You got any more questions? Um, No. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. This is your big opportunity, man. Uh, it's your um, hero. Austin, do you, how, were you close with Owen Hart? Because I know he accidentally caused a lot of your problems. Yeah, I was close with him, uh, you know, uh, until he dropped me on my head. I mean, <laughs> I, unfortunately, you know, Owen's no longer with us. But, I mean, I, after that, everybody loved Owen because he was a funny guy and he was a never in a bad mood and he was a real practical joker, joker that made everybody laugh on the road. And Owen was the kind of guy that was never in a bad mood. So, you know, it's, it's terrible what happened to him, uh, but I just didn't think he was so funny after I got dropped on my head. But, you know, I, I, I wish he was still here with us. Did Let he me, ever apologize to you? Yes, he did. Absolutely. I mean, there, there, we didn't have any animosity between us after that. It was just like, I don't know, it kind of changed, it kind of changed my life. So, you know, yeah. it, we just didn't talk a whole it, lot after it, that. It kind of affects you even to this day. Yeah, but well, you know, not really. Not ever since I got my, you know, my, my neck fixed. I'm I'm good, but you know, uh, I, I'm not wrestling anymore. I, I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking ten or fifteen years down the road at, at my quality of life. I mean, I feel great right now, and so I, I always tell people I could probably go out there and get two more years out of the ring uh, on a full schedule. But you know, what for? I mean, I don't have anything to prove. And then after that two years, you know, I'm not going to feel that great. I don't think so. I feel good now, and I'm I'm going to keep it that way. But let me ask you a question. Just before I leave, I mean, who was your favorite wrestler? Because you sound like you've watched wrestling forever. Who who was your favorite? I'm not I'm not looking for you to say me, obviously, but you seems like you know a whole lot about the business. All right. my of all time, Razor Ramon when he was good, when he was not on drugs in '93 and '94. 
What about if you had to pick for, pick someone for a full career body of work? Who would you go with? I'd have to go with Michaels, you or Hogan or Macho or Rock. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, uh, some, uh, yeah. You know, my, when people ask me, just because you have such a knowledge, if if someone ever asks me who my favorite professional wrestler is, it's absolutely hands down Nature Boy Ric Flair. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He put the, the the best body of work, the longest body of work, that was a true world champion when wrestling was wrestling. You know, in a sense, pro wrestling, but uh, traveled the world defending that belt. He can make anybody have a great match, and many times, what an hour. His feuds with Dusty were legendary. And in the Harley race, the Ricky Steamboat stuff, uh, Ric Flair, in my opinion, is hey. the greatest of yeah, all I'll, time. I'll admit, like, because uh, the last time I watched wrestling was when was I when I was a kid and hadn't watched it for a long time. But like uh, the two guys I was always really into were Randy Macho Man Savage and the Junkyard Dog. I don't know uh, what it was about JYD. What yeah. a charismatic guy and a big yeah. draw he was. And of course, I, I really enjoy Macho Man stuff. Uh, and he was amazing. He was he was he was he was, he was I don't know, badass. And of course, I mean, I, 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 know, I know you got a little beef here, but like, I even had the Hulk Hogan workout set. I did put the whole <laughs> jump rope and the headband and the whole thing. I was, yeah. Oh, he put together I was, I was you know, a kid. long career. You know, more power yeah. to him. But when you're talking about excitement and like, if we're both at a, if we're all at a sports bar and we're watching two monitors and you're watching Ric Flair work somebody over here and you're watching Hogan over here, I can guarantee you I'm going to be watching the Ric Flair match because mm-hmm. without sound and there's music in the background, that's the better story. There you go. Well, hey, uh, hey, is Michaels a nice guy? You. Beat Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14. Let me tell you something. That uh, WrestleMania 23 match he had with uh, John Cena was, as soon as he started that match, you know, I, I saw exactly where Shawn Michaels was going. It was a classic. It, it was a, it was a, he he took John Cena uh, just to, to school that day, and John Cena responded accordingly. He he really followed that match and had a great match. But that that was a classic. And that Shawn Michaels put on put on a clinic that day, and it was a killer match. Is he a nice guy? Yes, one of the best performers ever to get ever, in the ring ever. ever. Hey, uh, Hat Bay, hold on a second, okay? Say say bye to Stone Cold. Later, Stone Cold. Take take right, care, Hat Bay. Hat Bay, hold on one second, okay? Stone Cold to see you. Dude, thanks for being such a chill dude, man. Uh, Thank you for having me. A lot of people digging you on the uh, text message feedback here. And good luck with the movie. It just, I had the wrong date over here the whole time. I'm yeah, sorry, you should have corrected Friday. me. It's next Friday. Yes, sir, next Friday. Next April the 27th. April 27th, next Friday. The Condemned is going to be in theater. Stone Cold, Steve Austin, the big star of that film. And uh, thanks for coming in today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, it's 8.03 here at Live 105.